To get the perfect finish, you need the right paintbrush for the right project. So if you're cutting in or painting doors and trims, get your hands on one of these three great quality brushes. And here's a painter's tip for you. Before you start painting with water-based paint, stand your brush in an inch of water for about 10 minutes. Or if you're using oil-based paint, use terps. It'll soften the filament and it'll help the paintbrush pick up paint beautifully. This is a walls, doors and trims brush. It's got the highest quality filament which allows great control for painting nice, sharp, crisp edges. And here's a painter's tip. When you go to cut in, put the paint on using the skinny side of the brush about a half an inch away from the wall. And that way, it allows you to get a nice, sharp, straight edge because you've got less paint on the tip of the brush. And a quality brush like this just glides down the wall, doesn't flare and gives fantastic finish. For those people who feel they need a little bit more confidence, you might want to consider using the cutting and framing brush. It's cut on an angle and it's made of the same high quality filament, which allows you to get a nice straight edge when you cut in. And here's another painter's tip for you. When you finish painting, peel the masking tape off straight away while the paint is still wet. That way it won't form a bond and peel off any paint. This is a moulding and skirting brush. It's got an extra long handle for greater control and the angle filament allows for me to get a nice straight edge easily. And as you can see, with a quality brush, no brush marks. And if you haven't finished the project today, load your brush with paint, wrap it in some cling wrap, and that'll be fine overnight. If you're going to paint next weekend, do exactly the same thing, and then wrap it in alfoil. And that'll stay moist the whole week.